good morning students i hope you are safe and healthy at your homes and today we are going to start our ninth chapter that is based on the life of early man evidences indicate that human species may be developed in africa as this area has a favorable climatic condition for the evaluation evolution of human life it is believed that later on the human species may be, have wandered in asia europe and america and our information that is based on early man uh, is based on the remains of objects fossils and tools that have been excavated from different parts of the world by the archaeologist most of the tools are made up of stone that's why this period is known as stone age and stone age is divided into three part means whole stone age is divided into three part uh, according to their different features first part is paleolithic age second part is mesolithic age third part is neolithic age as you are looking on the screen this map is showing the sites where we have found the remains of early man and their fossils first stone age is paleolithic age paleo means old and lithic means stone the man of this period was food hunter and gatherer early man during this period he was just a food gatherer and he got his food by hunting and it is the oldest period of stone age the paleolithic man prepared stone tools to defend himself from wild animals he also used them for hunting animals chopping meat cutting wood and digging also the tools were known as core and flake tools the core tools were made from large stone by sharpening the edges as you are looking on the screen these are the remains we found from the different sites Uh, tools of early man the flake tools were formed when flake broken pieces of stone stuck off from a large piece of stone these tools were crude and unpolished means uh, this was the first or early age of the early man that's why tools were not too, uh, too much developed or properly made but they have used by early man the greatest achievement of man during this period was when he accidentally discovered fire by rubbing two stones against each other it means uh, early man didn't invent fire intentionally just by accidentally by rubbing or by throwing the stones on each other uh, he discovered fire after discovering the fire the uses of the fire uh, became too much important for early man because fire uh, was useful for early man like fire provided him heat in the cold weather as you know safety from wild animals uh, early man burned the fire in front of caves mouth to protect himself from the wild animals and again accidentally he was started to cooking food raw food in fire some of the remains of this period have been found in india at bhimbetka hansgi and kurnool this information we have regarding the early man of paleolithic age and 
uh, i hope all points are clear to you thank you and have a nice day